All right, so on the Maverick, you're gonna be looking up underneath here. And it's a heck of a thing to get underneath here, but climb in sideways, you can see it. And right here is where they connect the reader. And we're gonna be unplugging right from the back there and plugging in there. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna unplug this from the back and then I'm going to show you what the plug looks like. I'm gonna hook it in line and then we're gonna zip tie it. This is the footwell direction. This is the seat direction back here. And this is the plug that comes out of the back side. And this is what we're gonna be plugging the auto stop eliminator into in line. So as you can see, the auto stop eliminator has a male end and a female end. So we're gonna plug the existing wiring plug that's loose right now into this end. And then this end will plug into where we just pulled it out of. So uh, it's kind of hard to screw it up because it only goes in one direction. And then we'll just have to zip tie everything here so it's up out of the way underneath. So I'll show you once I get it plugged in what that looks like. I'll try and show this with this other camera a little bit here. So here we've already plugged the existing piece in up here. Right up here. And then now we're plugging the auto stop eliminator into the plug here. I should be able to just push it in and it's now snapped into place there. All right, now for a little testing. We're gonna turn on the vehicle and uh, this, everything's plugged in down below. And it tells me auto stop start deactivated by switch. Right away it tells me that when I turn it on, it happens immediately and it's off. And I did not even touch the button. It's automatically off. I can turn it on if I want. And I get a notification that it's on, so it still works if I wanted to have it on, but I don't have a lot of stops in my drive every day. I only have two stop lights that I go through, and uh, so I'm really not sitting in traffic very much. So for me, having this thing disabled is a big deal, and uh, it makes me really happy that this works correctly. So. There you go. Uh, now I'm going to zip tie it and I'll show you a video of the final uh, zip tied wires and everything. All right, I got everything hooked up here. Uh, I did zip tie it to the uh, wires that are uh, wrapped in orange. They uh, seem like the best place since there's already a wire uh, harness there going up. Um, only things I would say is, first of all, it's very difficult to work in here as a big guy. Trying to get in here and then look back up is pretty difficult. Had to do a little acrobatics. Probably going to be sore tomorrow. Um, second thing is the auto stop eliminator. It's a bit of a tight fit. Uh, just the existing wires and the harness plugging into it and then the uh, wires for it. It's, it's not super flexible wire, um, but you know, it is in there. It's not going to be pulling or bending too tight, but it, there is a little bit of a bend to the existing wires uh, more than I'd like but uh, it's not very tight, so hopefully it won't cause any issues in the long term. But anyway, all, uh, all in there. I don't tighten up zip ties too tight on stuff like this. It just needs to hold it in place. And later, if you wanna remove it, you don't wanna be having trouble where you're actually gonna snip a wire uh, by accident if uh, you're trying to clip that zip tie. So anyway, that's the install. And as you saw, it works. So yeah, pretty neat little device in there. And uh, is it worth $99 if I never have to press this button again? Yes, it is. I'm going to hold this truck for uh, probably the next 10 years. I don't want to be pressing this button every day for the next 10 years, even though I can remember to do it. Um, it's a pain in the ass, and I do not like the auto stop start, as I mentioned. So anyway, there you go.